Welcome to Looptopia, where we're building our own utopian homestead. We've got three different methods we're trying with potatoes this year to experiment, see which one will grow better. So, um, the first one you've probably seen was the grow bags. And those are trees in front of them, fruit trees. Um, then we did like little volcano rows. And lastly, we're going to try the roost stout. But I had to clear a little more room for the rows, and I took all that dirt and threw it over here. So I'm letting all the weeds die off. And I'll probably, normally what you're supposed to do is like cover something for a year with hay and break it down. I'm going to try to use this and maybe sprinkle a little dirt in just to give it some go. And then put potatoes on top and then put a whole lot of straw. We'll see what happens. And this is what a spot looks cleared out with this little wheel hoe. This was tough. It actually took us probably about an hour to get it to this point because the bunch grass is so tough, but it's a lot faster than a hoe. The actual um, wheel hoe is difficult. It takes some strength, but removing all the, the dead clumps of grass is the problem. And I'll show you why we did that. Like you're like, why didn't you just use a rototiller? So the downside of using a rototiller is if you have quack grass or something that, you know, like, um, oh, I don't know, bunch of grass or something that has a rhizome, these things. Rhizomes are these little root things that run. If you cut them up, they will replant and make your grass grow 10 more times. Oh, fantastic. There's a tick. I'm trying to figure out what type of tick this is. Focus. A little white spot in the center. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know, but he's going to handle. Yeah. <laughs> All right. As I was saying before, I got ambushed by ticks. The rhizomes are these big roots that store a lot of energy, and if you cut them up with a rototiller into ten pieces, they grow ten more plants. So the wheel hoe is a good option because it scrapes the whole thing out, and you don't have that issue. Even though this is way harder work. <laughs> than electric. Although, you know, to be fair, some of the rototillers are actually a lot of work to drag those things around. Um, the wheel hose faster too, I think. But it does take some muscle when it's really thick grass like this stuff. So I'll let you know what happens uh, in a few months, how well we're going to dig this up and compare the different ways if the, uh, if the bags work better than the, the rows and different amendments. So we're, I'll just summarize it all for you but if you want to get started and you want to try the volcano method give it a whirl the other thing is you know we are homesteading in south carolina if you are looking for a homestead because you think uh you know this society is starting to go in a very bad place and you don't have a place to go and you ours ours is more spiritual based in in vegan homestead we don't do livestock out here if that's your vibe contact us on our telegram group and feel free to chit chat and uh, we'll see if we can arrange a, a visit. Come on out and check us out. Also, remember, all of our uncensored stuff is over at Odyssey and Brighton because YouTube sucks and they don't let us say anything anymore. So everything here is really, really filtered and it's just about the farming and nothing else. So if you know what we really think and know about us, you got to go over there. You'll find that in the description below. We love you. Take care of each other. Bye.